All right, guys, so I'm here to rebuild this uh, toilet tank. Sir, I'm recording this. Yes, okay. Okay, you can, I mean, you can hang around. You don't have to. I just want to let you know. Uh, I'm going to rebuild this cola. This is a cola well worth. Uh, I'm just going to take the tank off and bring it out to the truck, put a new tank to bowl gasket, new bolts, new fill valve, uh, new flapper. Everything's going to be brand new and uh, we'll get them going there is an issue with he's getting high water bills but i pressure tested the house and i can't find any significant uh leakage the only thing that i can see is the the uh, pressure relief valve on the outside of the house is dripping uh and it may be from thermal expansion it's right on the side of the water heater uh, it may drip even more when when you run hot water, so uh, I'll have to change that valve out and um, Hopefully everything will be good So these guys are from Denmark and um, He seems skeptical uh, a little bit about what I'm trying to say to him uh, it doesn't appear that I have the correct relief valve for this house. They do have three quarter uh, 125s on there. The only ones that I have, this is this is a temperature and pressure relief. Uh, I do have the bushing, but I need to go. I need to go get a 125. That's the code here, and. Um, Or I could put an expansion tank on there and that would do the same damn thing uh, right on the outside of the house I could screw a 90 in there with a nipple put the expansion tank right out there in the corner of the house but it is dripping and uh, you know the bill the guy's water bill is not high at all I get calls from people their water bills his water bill went up like six bucks a month but let me get his tank off and bring it out here and rebuild it so so the other issue out at this house is they call I told you that she acted like I was here and talked to her two weeks ago and I was not and she said there was a guy here a bigger guy than me saying he was John Phillips and that he could take care of the plumbing and that he could also fix you know he was a handyman but she dialed my number to get that guy I don't know what's going on I'll have to look into that and see if anything funky's going on maybe that's why my phone's not ringing somehow somebody's getting my number forwarded to them who knows uh, I'll have to call and check on that all right guys so this job is getting very very fucking interesting like there's a question with these people as to who I am am I why am I not the guy who was here two weeks ago and she showed me her phone records that she was dialing my phone number but some other guy showed up here a big guy fat guy tall uh, and saying he was John Phillips I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I told him I can ensure you that I am John Phillips, the plumber who's been here for fucking in business for 26 years. I even went to the point that I pulled my driver's license out and I told her to take a picture of my driver's license. Uh, and then if, if I were them, I'd get in touch with their association and let them know that there's a fucking imposter in here saying he's somebody he's not which is very dangerous and scary if you ask me not only pisses me off that he's stealing my work or, or attempting to but that he's you know he's a fucking fraud <laughs> basically you know what I'm saying y'all so this is a cola well worth and they want me to rebuild the whole tank that's based on what John Phillips told him when he was here. So I'm just, rather than going through all the bullshit, I'm just going to do it.
and the way I get these bolts out on these these cords is just like that use a screwdriver without a bit in it pushes it right out now I'm gonna get my tool So this, this tool I made specifically for these core valves and I've never tried it so maybe it don't work, I don't know. But they're tough, they're tough because it's recessed. You can see that the nut is recessed in there and it's just hard to get in get on that damn thing wow yeah these things are a challenge man So this tool doesn't appear to work the way I wanted it to work just because of that gasket being there. Never had this happen before where I've been accused or thought to be somebody other than myself. So that's a new one on me. The train of thought is all messed up. adjustable tank I mean uh, flush valves trip levers but it sits in the wrong position so I'm getting rid of it I do have the original core flapper for this to the old way of doing it. I wish Cola, when they, they redesign shit, they at least put the goddamn tools that you need on the market with them, you know? You would think. Never had to show my driver's license to somebody. I mean, she didn't want to take it, but I insisted that she did.
can we agree that coal sometimes is just a pain in the fucking ass? The simplest little things with them can be a challenge. Especially when you're frustrated and thinking about something else. I can tell you that this has already been replaced by somebody who didn't know what they were doing. This is normally a uh, Teflon gasket, not a cardboard fric friction ring. And that prevents the, the new Kohler gasket from squeezing out. Uh, so this toilet's been messed with. I tried to, tried to get him to buy a new toilet instead of spending half the money on this old one but they don't want to do it I mean, uh, really concerned about the five dollar increase in the water bill I love these these uh, scotch bright pads man they really work good. Okay. So that's junk. That's junk. That's junk. The flapper is hard as a rock. They probably have one in the other toilet that's hard as a rock. That could be the source. <laughs> what I did was I put a pressure gauge on the system. And I let it sit for 15, 20 minutes and it never budged uh, with the curb stop shut off. And first I did it with the backflow, the discharge of the backflow turned off. And uh, so it's not moving. I can't find a leak. But let me get my stuff that I need. A handle, a flush valve, a new cola valve fill valve all right guys so I got I got a new handle on this toilet I'm a little frustrated on this one with this bullshit that's going on here to be honest with you So here's my new gasket for the flush valve. Let me go get my flush valve. I'm going to reuse these bolts, guys, because they don't look bad at all. To be honest with you, man, not a problem.
found that putting these bolts in first and then putting the flush valve in it helps you when you don't have the, the proper friction ring I'm going to use this because that's all I got they don't send them in the kits So my little tool works on this gasket, not the cola, or maybe the other one was a some fucking oddball, who knows, somebody replaced that stuff. Usually you have a hole drilled in this tool. But hand tight is usually good enough. Any more than that you can And just squirt squish the gasket out of it. so I'm happy with that guys when you put these tubes in I want to show you something this is not right by just sticking it in there this thing's gonna go on and off it's gonna self siphon and uh, because I have a shorter handle then the one that's supposed to be in here, I'm going to use this to pluck that baby up. Hopefully it works. But yeah, this is this is designed. You need to have an air gap on that tube. And I can see I need to cut it. Son of a bitch. That done fucked up again. like this guys you don't just stuff it down in that tube man and then this go with that for now give that a try leave a little bit of extra chain so this guy is ready to go back in So 
I'm putting this toilet tank back on. It's got three bolts. I'm tightening them down like I said before. You gotta make sure you get that back bolt as tight as the front or it will leak. I can tell you, sir, that somebody worked on this toilet before. This, the stuff I took out of there was not the original stuff. Okay. Somebody worked on it at one point. <clears throat> Probably did. Uh, huh? I think it, I, we bought it in 11 or 12. Yeah. And I think nobody had been working on it in that Since I, then. I'm not absolutely sure. Yeah, I can just tell you that the parts and the way it was put together, hmm. I can tell it was not the way the factory does it. Uh, just because I put so many of these in, hmm. I, I know what, what I'm looking at. So you guys have been without this toilet for eight months? Yes, but um, we haven't been here for eight months. <laughs> <coughs> but we have the master of the uh, bathroom. You gotta make sure you keep water in this bowl. Mm. Even if, you know, if for whatever reason you turn it off, you gotta make sure you fill the traps up or your mm. house will fill up with methane gas. <coughs> So the whole idea behind the drain weight, oh, I'm talking to the camera. I was saying that the whole, when it comes to the code, on how to size piping and vent things. It's all designed to protect the trap seal. Because without trap seals, you got sewer gas coming right into your house. So that's what it's all about, plumbing. How to protect a trap. Every fixture in this house has a trap. Plus or minus one inch movement in the, in the trap. Mm. All right, so that's tight. I'm gonna change, like I said, I always change out these supply tubes. Uh, I think an eight inch is gonna work on this one, just because. And that's loose as hell. So I get 9 inch, 12 inch, 16s and 24s of what I stock on my truck. And uh, sometimes you're better off, like this is CPVC coming out of the wall. I'm better off with a longer one that's not going to put any pressure on that CPVC. Coming out of the wall, I can put a loop in it. <laughs> Rather than trying to trying to bend the eight inch into place. <clears throat> Definitely don't want any pressure on that CPVC. Like anything, you learn how to work with it. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go turn the water back. This John's got me a little stressed out with this mystery of who John Phillips is, so. But that job stressed me out a little bit with all the concern about a minor water leak, which could be, you know, their water bill could have went up because the landscapers, you know, were filling up a jug off of their house. Uh, many, many things, but the pressure gauge does not lie. So when I put a pressure gauge on the house and isolate everything, and it doesn't drop over the course of a half hour there is no leak you know none that I can detect so that kind of stressed me out on this job and then the fact that there was actually a concern about who I was was I really John Phillips when the question should have been is who was this other guy who was in your house saying he was John Phillips and he does plumbing and screen repairs and all kinds of other shit. So I told the lady, I mean, I literally, I gave her my driver's license and I told her, take a picture of me. When I was in her bathroom putting her toilet back together, I had to take a picture of me. I took my hat off, my glasses and uh, gave her a business card. I mean, my fucking truck I've had for 20 years. Pretty obvious who I am. My question is, who was that other guy? And where did he come from? How did he get a call that was meant to come to me? How did he get it to go to him? I don't know. With all this technology, it'd be easy for somebody to figure out a way to all forward stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess, I don't know. There's so much shit out there, you end up being paranoid because you just have no idea what, what's possible in this world anymore. But So I'm going to go get some relief valves. That was the only thing that I could see dripping. Uh, it wasn't much. Drip every... 15 or 20 seconds, but you know, when that happens, uh, when that happens 24 7, it, it can add up. So, I'm just going to change the damn thing out and tell them to keep an eye on their water bill. That's it, man. I did miss my turn off, though, son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm here at the supply house. I had to get some, some stuff. Unfortunately, this job proved to me that I didn't have... I haven't been restocking my truck too well, but see this, this nylon washer? You don't get it if you buy... You can buy these gaskets, these, these three-prong cola gaskets you can buy them at Lowe's but they only come with the nut they don't come with this uh, nylon friction ring and it's critical really that you have that uh, because if you're just spinning the nut down onto that rubber it's going to twist and it's not going to seat right so this is something you know you may have to spend a couple extra bucks but get the right shit man so you can do it right and prevent headaches uh, the other thing is these are the Kohler Wellworth uh, toilet trip levers 
and I stopped them. I just, I was out of them, man. Thought I had two or three of them, didn't have them. And then the other thing that I, I didn't have was uh, these, these uh, relief valves. And I buy the tamper proof, you know, the one, this is a half inch 125 or 100 to 125. You can adjust the pressure by this dial up here, but it's 100 PSI to 125. And that's what you can use in lieu of an expansion tank down here. Uh, and that's what I need to replace at this house. But the one that I had, the one that I could have put in there was 150 PSI, which is, that's too high. Uh, so this is going to be set at 100 and I'm going to put it in there and they'll be all set. The one they have is dripping and the best thing about these is they're tamper proof. You're not going to get some landscaper or somebody lifting that lever because they want to wash their hands or fill up a cooler or do whatever. You know, it's just a... Uh, it's just asking for somebody to grab it, you know, so I try to stay away from the lever handle reliefs on the outside of a house, but this job, this job and this day, um, not my finest, not my finest, but it's a good one, man. We're working. Made some money. I'm going to give these guys a huge discount just for putting up with me and I gotta show you these fucking bulls, man. This is no bullshit, man. Let's see if I can get this fucking guy to come over here and talk to me for a minute. This is a Texas Longhorn, man. In Florida. See, you buy a piece. Look at these fucking things, man. Look at this. That motherfucker's head should be on the front end of a fucking convertible El Dorado from 1973. Look at him, he's wagging his tail. What's up, man? Come here, boy. Hey, I'm talking to you, man. Got his heifers over there. He's like, I'm holding it down, motherfucker. And I ain't getting out because that little fucking barbed wire, that guy's the size of a goddamn truck, man. Come here, boy. Come here, kids. Do you guys want to eat? You want some snacks? This is what they do, man. These people, they buy uh, land in Florida and they put a couple cows on it and then it turns into agricultural and they don't have to pay taxes on it. Look at them cow patties, man. Woo! That's Florida living. You can just see the methane pouring off of them. Nice. I like it. I love Florida. I really do. I hope you guys got a good look at that. That, that bull is a bad mother, man. I don't know how long it takes to grow horns like that. I'd say if, if his uh, horns are that big, his Bowls have to be dragging on the ground. That's what I'm thinking. Alright guys, so that's a wrap for today for me. I've been here for two hours playing with these people about who I am. Two and a half hours. I charge them for one hour plus my trip charge plus all the materials because I rebuilt that tank but um, just a strange interaction they're from Denmark and they're a little different you know I mean not that they're bad people but they're it was uh, just a little it was a strange interaction uh, but you know, they've got a picture of me, a picture of my driver's license, a picture of my truck, uh, which is just outrageous, you know. 
I have my rights, you know. Jesus Christ, man. I, ain't, I don't even have to show a cop my ID, never mind some lady who wants me to fix her toilet, for Christ's sake. Oh, Jesus, I use it in the Lord's name in vain. Going to hell. It's fucking Monday. Actually, it's Wednesday. <laughs> we made some cheese today, guys. We made some money. Not a whole lot, but enough to feed me. And uh, that's all I expect, man. That's all I need, brother. So this place is where one of my neighbors, who just, she's in the process of selling her house, on Malik Circle, it's up for sale. Another one. This one's not a teardown. It's a really nice house. And she moved into here, man. Great place. It's a gated community. Has this big community center with a pool and tennis. And this damn place even has its own gas station, man, and convenience store inside the gate. Imagine that. communities man there's a deeper story to these these people are in a different class and they do not want people like me in their neighborhood you know getting ID to fix a fucking shitty old toilet the guy was sitting there, he was tight as can be. You could see his fucking, I could hear his ass puckering up every time I wrote down a number next to the item on the invoice. And uh, he would have been better off, and I would have been better off just putting a new toilet in there, man. It's a 25 year old fucking Cola Wellworth. Just spent 250 fucking dollars to rebuild it. Stupid. More than halfway there to a fucking point to a uh, brand new ADA height. Just not the. Couldn't work for a company where commission. Where I had to work on commission because man, you really gotta push. You gotta sell, man. You gotta sell them shit they won't need, don't need. Uh, it's all about selling them shit. But anyways, right now my mission is to find food and drink. I need food and drink. So have a great day, guys. This is the end of it for me today. It's 1.52, I got eight minutes left until 10 to 2 plumbing fucking closes the doors and goes back to the barn uh all american all american heating and cooling we're real we're real americans here man yeah we're fucking real americans yeah we were part of that that gang that visited the fucking Capital on January 6th. We were just visiting. What the fuck's a big deal about? Look at this shit, guys. See all this sticks and bricks? And I guarantee you 95% of them guys over there working are Mexican. But that shit was not there fucking two weeks ago. Look at how, look at this. It's amazing, man, how quick they throw shit up. The only thing that was there two weeks ago were the fucking towers for the for the uh, elevators, man. So I'm gonna go over here to this faux place, fuh, see what the fuh is going on. Try to get me some fucking noodles, man. But they close, they got weird hours. They open for lunch and then they close. And then they come back at five. 
like we're not paying you to just stand around for nothing for three hours they close at two and op reopen at five imagine that pretty smart actually all right guys that's it